if you were a visitor this morning, would you mind standing up and just introducing yourself? And we'll start over on the left. Okay. And we'll go front to back. Hi, I'm Diane, and I
Uh, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure that you've heard on TV or wherever, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, I have some friends personally who have battled that and who are survivors. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to mention is, and the news had this on today, uh, one in eight women in the U.S. will develop invasive breast cancer in her lifetime, and I don't know, are there survivors here if you want to raise your hand? Okay, very good. Let's give them a hand. Um, thanks to research, there are more than 3.8 million breast cancer survivors in the U.S. today. One of the things that they said on the news, and I kind of heard this, but I really don't, didn't remember any statistics, was that breast cancer does not only affect women. It also affects men, and it is 19% more deadly in men than it is in women. Uh, men don't think about um, breast cancer exams. The, the stats that they gave uh, this morning were that 2,700 men will be diagnosed this year with breast cancer. And of those 2,700, and I only, I rounded this, was a little higher than this, but 500 of those will die. Uh, I think it's extremely important health-wise to know. And many of us are still sharing our lives with um, a guy that we love or uh, we have a sibling. So it needs to be um, something that we are all aware of. So along with that, I love to do giveaways personally. So Aveda, I don't know if any of you use Aveda products, but I use different products of theirs. And um, I got an email from them, and they have a special product this month that, um, and I like them because, and I hope this is true, somebody will burst my bubble uh, if they research and say that Aveda is not telling the truth about this. But they don't do research on animals, and their products are minus uh, parabens and you know other things that um, are not good. So the product that I purchased, they're advertising uh, as if you buy it, half of what you pay goes to um, them, and the other half goes to breast cancer research. So that's our giveaway today, and when the four lucky people get this, you can open it up and um, show the other folks who unfortunately did win this morning, but you know you're all winners because you're here with Democrats. <laughs> and if you want to read anything about this, I printed out the, the sheets, and if you want to make a donation, you want to buy the product, and you want to make a donation, that's entirely up to you. So, um, all up. Yes. You said you were a survivor? Yes. Would you pick one? Please.
us a breast cancer. <laughs> Shelly, she has a history of surviving some pretty challenging health issues. So um, um, I'm going to thank you all for being here, but that doesn't mean get up and leave. I'm going to hand it, I'm going to hand it over to Dee, and we just need you to be uh, here a little bit longer. Dee has been, has done a, a tremendous job with postcards, writing postcards. Supporters, raise your hand if you've been writing postcards with Dee at one time or another. I think maybe I did it once, but very good. I think is today your last postcard day? That's never the end of postcards. Not supposed to be. Okay, can I give you this? Oh, want me to hold it? Bring me all back. So we were going to write postcards today. Well, obviously that's not going to happen. So what? wait, so what I'm offering you is the opportunity. Okay, so there's some caveats here. So um, the opportunity to take some postcards home and write. Ten, we're going to hand them out 10 to a person. There's a sample. So we ask several things of you. We ask that you print. And print legibly. <laughs> You'd be amazed at the number of times we rewrite postcards because if we can't read them and we know what they say, we know that nobody else can read them. So you'll see that we've got, I'll give you a sample, a sample plus, oh my goodness, don't let me give you this one. Wow. <laughs> a sample plus nine for ten, give you ten addresses, ten stamps. If you'd like to take a moment, write them, please do so. It, we ask that you don't use red. Please don't use red. Um, and when you do your vote and you draw your little box at the bottom with a big check mark, make sure that's a really nice big blue uh, thing. And feel free to take, if you don't have colors at home, feel free to take some off the table. Um, and don't let me give you one that has the Sumter County Supervisor of Elections on the front because these are going to Marion County women. Okay, so this postcard is going to, we wrote postcards to young women all over Sumter County and a couple other counties saying, you now have fewer rights than your mother and grandmother. Protect your right to choose both. We sent those out to thousands of young women. So this one, we send this one out to thousands of women our age, and it says, young women deserve the same choices that we have. Help them protect their right to choose. Vote. And that's all it says. It's a very simple, we tried, we got so, people hate writing a, a, an, an epiphany, you know. So uh, if you want to take them, come see me. We have some just for Judy and her friends like her who like to address. We have 200 postcards to address. So uh, if you'd like to take some of those home, home it's just we'll give you addresses and postcards. We won't give you stamps because I need those back uh, because I have one more step that I have to do. I ran out of time before I got here today. So that's it. And we should mail them when we get there. Oh, yes, I'm going to give you stamps. Unless you're just. Um, addressing and then oh and so those that we're addressing we it was a hard thing coming up with the things for young people and the one on the young people that we're just addressing says you wouldn't let just anyone pick your playlist because they're all in the music why would you let just anyone determine your future vote so it's just the thing to try to get them thinking at least and we send them to lazy voters we don't send them to us we vote, we vote more often if they vote us. But we send it to those people who tend to not vote in the mid-year elections. So that's it, thanks. Uh -huh. When do you want those in the mailbox? 
So, you know, in the next couple of days, you know, early voting's getting ready to start. Vote by mail's already started, so the sooner we get them in, that's why just 10, it'll take you a half hour to write them. Give this back to you, and I have one other announcement. If you're free tomorrow, Pretty in Pink, Hot Chicks with Tattoos, Nod presents Pretty in Pink Breast Cancer Awareness Fundraiser. Last year, I went and I decorated my bra, and I had little bumblebees on it that had a little. Uh, conversation bubble that said boo, and they were my boobies. Uh, but the, the ladies decorate bras, and so some of the things they have, they have a silent auction. I happen to win that too. One basket. Um, they have a basket raffle. They have a merchandise store, a bakery, a bra sale, food vendors, curbside cuisine, mystic ice cream, and Ben's soft pretzels. Um, there were a lot of people going in and out last year, and they raised a lot of money for breast cancer research. Uh, ladies and men are welcome. It is down at I think Everglades Rec Center. It's from three to six. It's tomorrow. Yes. A friend just gave me this two days ago. I was talking to her, and I said, you know, we had so much fun last year when we went to that. Um, so if you're available, and you don't have to go and stay the whole time, like I, I bought, it's at Everglades, it's uh, the Pretty in Pink, by the, sponsored by Hot Chicks with Tattoos, um, and uh, it's a lot of fun, it's a good cause, and I bought my basket tickets, and we left, and a few days later I got a phone call, come, you want a basket, so, um, you know, you can contribute to a good cause, you can have fun, and you can win something cool. All right, that's all I have. Dee, are you, where did Dee go? Oh, there she is. Okay, Dee's taking care of that. If you're gonna do postcards, Dee will see you or you will see her. Um, good luck with your early voting or your vote by mail, whatever you're doing. What did I forget, lunch? We'll lunch, and then we might post next month. Thank you. <laughs> Um, when we sign our contract for this room, sometimes there are dates when it is not available, uh, which was the case in August and will be the case in November. So we're not going to meet in November. We figure we'll all be ready to take a gigantic breather. Either that or a long cry, I don't know. Uh, to Just to get ready for the next round. But in December, um, we're, going to have, we're going to have a fun event. Um, we have a gentleman coming who usually does trivia, but he's going to do Family Feud for us. And I have to talk to him again to see how we're going to be arranged. And we talked about um, maybe ordering from Panera or someplace a box lunch. Last year we had a cater. I don't know, we, we might go that way. So watch your email. Make sure you're on the email list that Sue sends out reminders of things, and um, we'll let you know what we decide to do food-wise, what it'll cost when your your money needs to be in, etc. And we love having guests, too. Uh, and we hope that if you're a guest uh, a couple of times, that you like being with us, and you'll join us, and support us financially. So, um, good luck to all of you, CD, and Happy voting. Thank you, thank you.